Welcome to Thingiverse Thursday, where we print something interesting every Thursday from Thingiverse. This week, it's spinners. These fun little fidget widgets are a great toy to play with. Just leave them around the house and people will be busy with them all day long. So let's get going, get a few printed, and get them together. I started by cleaning up the edges using an X-Acto knife. Sharp blades are the best. This was a dull blade in this case. After getting the majority off with the X-Acto knife, we went, I went ahead and used some sandpaper to clean up any of the remainder. This is the, one of the easiest ways to smooth it out. I just press fitted the bearings in just by pushing down on it. You have to be careful not to break the plastic when you do this, but it doesn't take much pressure and they do go in pretty well. I used a little glue and bridge just between the outer edge of the bearing and the plastic to help secure it in place because this is spinning, I don't want anything to fly, fly loose. This is pretty easy, you just have to be careful not to get any stuck in the bearing that would secure the bearing. With the glue dry, I went ahead and placed the cap on the board and then the bearing over top of it. I took a little bit of glue and simply glued on the inside of the bearing, once again making sure not to interfere with the bearing's workings. With the next one, I tried a different approach. I used a heat gun to heat it up rather than sanding it out to get a tight fit with the bearings. With the pl plastic a little malleable, you're able to go ahead and press fit in your bearings as they need to be. Sometimes it takes a couple passes, but they fit, press in pretty easily after this. It sped up the whole process dramatically, and as you can see, it spins really well from here. With the other two done, I went ahead and moved on to the one that used coins for counterweights. This takes a little longer when you heat up the plastic because you're putting in individual coins and it will cool down as you do it. So I went ahead and worked slowly and patiently as not to deform the plastic using the heat gun. And now for a test spin. And these become highly addicting at this point. Alright, so we're done making a bunch of them. This is the Pennywise, and links will appear to each one in the description. Over here we have one that uses nickels, and once again that's a bearing and 45 cents in nickels. We also have these. Now this is an ABS one, and it uses bearings as the counterweight, so there's four bearings in them. And for the last one is a little smaller one. It's just, it's not a three prong one. It's just a two prong one. They're nice and fun. They just use bearings for counterweights and they're standard skateboard bearings. Just be warned, these things can become addictive. You can spend all day spinning and that is not good. So if you develop a spinning problem, please contact Spinners Anonymous. <laughs> 